Hey everybody, welcome to another home theater install. Now this one looks a little bit different than what you've seen in our other videos. You're used to seeing full blown home theater installs that have that dedicated room as a home theater, but this customer wanted their living room to be that all purpose media room and family room. So that is why we're standing inside of the main living space for this home theater. Now, the reason we're showing you this home theater today is because, well, one, we did install it. So we want to walk you through that. But two, it is a do it yourself home theater. You can do all of this on your own. If you've got a little bit of drywall knowledge and a little bit of wiring knowledge, you can put this together yourself. The best news is everything that you're going to see today is available at audioadvice.com with two day free shipping. So if you're looking at this on a Wednesday, you could start setting up your home theater by the weekend. Now, before we dive a little bit deeper inside of this home theater, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. You will find other home theater install videos and hundreds of other home audio and home electronics videos. All right, let's get started. All right, this media room is a 5.1.4 full Martin Logan Atmos system with an Anthem receiver and a Sony TV. Now what you're seeing obviously is the finished product. So now let's dive into how we got to the end result. All right, so we're actually underneath the home right now. So this is basically where it all starts with the install. So we're underneath the home in the crawl space. As you can see, all of these run. So the main uh, home base where the Anthem is, is right up there. Then you have the right, uh, the front right coming off of that. We have four runs actually coming off. Uh, one does go to a pair in the uh, kitchen, which is right behind the media room that we've installed. So we do have the three for the, all the end ceiling and the rears. And then as you can see, several going to the left side of the room. Uh, you see uh, three because one does go out to a set of outdoor speakers, but you have the sub and the front left channel as well running underneath the crawl space. Okay, so the next step after we got everything situated uh, kind of at the, the home base, so to speak, and in, inside of the crawl space, we had to go down uh, the client's wall here because we've cut a hole in the drywall. Now, I know that sounds kind of crazy and scary if you're doing it yourself, um, but it's not really that big of a deal um, if you've got a little bit of know-how on drywall or a, a subcontractor that can come in and do it. Now, we're fishing up three runs of 14-4 wire. Now, that's because we have four in-ceiling Atmos speakers and the uh, left and right rears have to be accessed from the ceiling as well. Now, because this home is on a crawl space, it does make it very easy to set up the front stage of this media room. Basically, all we did was go from the home base over to the left channel, front left channel, to the sub, TV, center, and right. All done by running all the wire underneath through the crawl space. And since basically this is hollow, we're basically just going TV, center, straight back and through to the anthem. So there's two big reasons why we put the Anthem MRX 1120 in this system. One of those reasons is the incredible room correction that Anthem comes with. It's Arc Genesis, which is a phenomenal room correction, which we'll actually get to a little bit later as we're walking more around the room. And then two, it's a more musical receiver. And this customer has a turntable. And so to be able to put this turntable through and enjoy uh, the vinyl sounds that are coming out of the turntable, the Anthem is gonna do really, really well extracting that music and putting it through the system. So now that we've covered the Anthem receiver, let's look at the front, uh, center, left, and right speaker choices for this media room. So the customer went with the Martin Logan Slim XLs. And the reason being is that this is an actual uh, exterior wall and it's got shiplap on it as well. So doing anything in wall was out of the question. Now, another reason why the customer chose the Slim XLs is because for their look, they're aesthetically pleasing, especially inside of this media room where you do have the shiplap and the final uh, little icing on the cake is since the Slim XLs are in the front, we went with the Martin Logan FX as the rears because they all share the same ribbon tweeter. All right, so the sub that we used in this theater is the Martin Logan Dynamo 1100. And the big reason we went with this sub is, well, one, it stays within the Martin Logan family, and two, 
Anthem, which is what we use for the receiver, and Martin Logan are sister companies. So it's got the arc room correction inside of the sub. So step one is that you would run the room correction on the sub and then room correct the entire room after you've calibrated the sub. Now for the viewing piece of the puzzle for this media room, a Sony 75 inch 4K television was used. We're running Apple TV to it, Xbox, family loves uh, playing games, watching sports and movies. So this was a perfect solution uh, for this media room. It, this TV is also available online. I mean, Sony is known for their picture quality. So you cannot go wrong with a Sony television inside of your media room. That's going to wrap up this media room install. Once again, thank you so much for watching. Everything that you saw here today inside of this media room is available for purchase online. We do have a full sales and support team. Uh, so if you do have questions about your particular room or use case scenario, we are online and willing and able to help you. You can chat with us or give us a call. Or if you are in the Raleigh or Charlotte area, we have two wonderful showrooms full of home electronics and home audio, over 10,000 square feet per showroom. Come on in, check it out. We will be happy to help you. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like it and subscribe to our channel. You will see hundreds of other videos about home audio, home theater, and home electronics.